Today we have a 10 years old Samsung flagship device. This device released back in 2013 and today we're going to explore this device and going to figure it out can we use this device in 2024 or not. So I got this device for pretty cheap so that's why I bought it actually otherwise it doesn't make sense to buy one of these devices. If you get in a good price then it does make sense. So going with this device there are few variants of this device actually Snapdragon variant, Exynos variant and also there are different storage options. Unfortunately the one I got is Exynos variant and 16 gig of storage it got and why I'm saying unfortunately is that because the Snapdragon variant does support 4G and also there are a lot of custom ROMs available for that device but for this one actually I would say very less custom ROM available but anyway Today we're going to explore this device and going to see what Samsung is like providing us. So let's turn on the device. So going with the spec, this one got 2 gig of RAM, 16 gig of storage. And main thing of this device actually is that the display, the huge AMOLED panel, 1080p AMOLED panel. This device got a very beautiful display and the display actually is still uh, like can compete with many devices and it does look very beautiful and also we got a 2 megapixel phone camera in the back we have the 13 megapixel camera and with flash there are volume rockers and other things the most disappointing part of this device actually is the build quality the build quality is very very bad and as you can see there are cracks and everywhere are cracks and I did like scrape out all the colors like the chrome finish the Samsung provided back then. Samsung used to provide the, this chrome finish on all of the devices even Samsung Galaxy S5 also got that. From the 6 they put aluminium body so they didn't have this color but until S5 they used to give some sort of chrome finish to, to their device. So now this device actually running on its stock firmware so it is running on Android 5.1 which is the latest version for this device and when I got this device actually it was running on Android 4.2 and then I had to update the device but the update was not possible from the device I had to fetch the device to 5.1 and I could not use even Samsung's uh, own suite to update the device I don't really know why is that but I had to flash it to Android 5.1 so it is running on Android 5.1 as you can see and the device runs pretty smooth in Android 5.1 and it got 53 applications in build some of them you can like remove but almost most of them you can't remove that's actually quite nonsense most of them actually doesn't make sense actually uses Galaxy, Bookstore, Showtime, Eat Out and other things a lot of things they put actually it doesn't make sense so what do you can do with android 5.1 uh android 5.1 is not that usable anymore actually because let me connect to the wi-fi so that i can show you what is supporting this device and other things so first of all um what do we use in our device mostly facebook twitter and also you watch youtube so if i want to install youtube here install it now so Android 5.1 doesn't support the latest version of YouTube so you cannot install YouTube anymore here so as you can see the device isn't compatible with this version so you cannot install YouTube here. The most disappointing part is that even the Facebook application doesn't work so if I search Facebook here showing some sorts of boost okay like application now Facebook so as you can see the Facebook the main application doesn't support but Facebook Lite you can use and also messenger Instagram does support and other things like TikTok and other things so those will work perfectly fine maybe the bank apps will not work because the bank apps require latest version of Android at least Android 11 or 12 like that they are backward compatible like two three versions 
but for android 5.1 you cannot use any kind of bank applications going with this device actually the application actually you cannot install that much but you can use like third party application store or you can like uh, download it directly from website uh, then you can install you can do that actually and also if you really want to watch youtube you can go to like browser and you can directly browse from there so if i go to browser and if i search youtube it will work here okay let me try it right now youtube So as you can see the youtube is working but it is pretty slow the youtube will work we can watch 1080p video and video does look pretty good on this display the display is pretty good actually going in the setting there are tons of features samsung put here so it got nfc it got dual band wi-fi it got bluetooth and also it got a lot of things which are as being mirror device skin mirroring and if there are a few other extra features which are like you can do ear view or smart screen this this actually does make sense and but they don't include these features anymore with any devices so also uh, one more disappointing part of this device actually is that you go to storage so it got 16 gig of storage and if you check how much storage is available only 7 gig of storage is available even though I haven't put anything here, I haven't installed any kind of application here, but only 8 gig of like storage is available. And uh, system took 7 gig of storage, quite nonsense actually. And the battery backup is not really great, even back then also it was not really great. But the battery can be swapped anytime, anywhere because it is a swappable battery. You can like take out the bag and you can put your battery here so the my my device is now 3g variant but the 3g network does work in where i am living right now so 3g network does work but in some country 3g network doesn't work in that case if you're buying one of these device if you're getting it in like cheap price try to buy a 4g variant of it like snapdragon variant you will have a lot of option and it will be a little bit faster than this one actually so there are a few more things to talk about if I go to camera section the camera is still pretty decent actually there are tons of features available as you can see here um, beauty face best photo sound shot drama a lot of things and also we got HDR actually if you like select HDR mode it, it takes time to process the pictures so, like if I take picture right now it is taking pretty like fast because it is in auto now if i select hdr now and as you can see it is processing the picture and saving it another thing of this device actually the focus is pretty slow as you can see it, it can't focus so the focus is pretty slow and another thing you can like record 1080p video uh, in front camera and in back camera both of them support 1080p 30fps videos and video also does look decent obviously you can you cannot like uh, it cannot compete with today's device but it is pretty decent if you get it for cheap price so around maybe 10 or 15 dollar you can get one of these although it doesn't make sense but it's still pretty usable uh, mainly i will say for the display the display is pretty beautiful and yeah the application you cannot use most of them but you can still use some of them you can use this device as a secondary device uh, and also like you can capture all photos and also listen to the music this one got pretty decent music uh, output actually and also you can use ir blaster here to control like your tv sc and everything so in that case you can use this device as a remote too and i'm thinking of making videos about custom rom for this device and i have downloaded few of the roms and in next video or next videos maybe i will up try to make a full tutorial of it how to install 
TWRP and have to install the custom ROM on this device. And in short, if you are like using this device or if you want to use this device as a secondary device, you don't really need to install any kind of custom ROM. You can like you can do one thing, you can root the device and uninstall all the application you don't need. Even if you root the device, you can uninstall even the application can't be uninstalled like right now you can uninstall those two and you can make it like pretty minimal and also you can do one more thing here if you want to use this as a secondary device there are one more option here if you go to my device and home screen mode you can put it in easy mode and it will make the device looks like a toy phone though but it is pretty pretty decent looking uh, secondary phone right now so everything works perfectly fine as a secondary device i haven't seen any kind of issue like phone call and other things perfectly working mainly the display is pretty gorgeous here the display looks pretty good and other than that nothing much going on i did actually uh, like captured few pictures as you can see here um the pictures look decent uh, the, the, the picture I have taken actually is pretty like about 6 p.m. So it was pretty dark so that the picture quality is not really great But I think it will be better in like daylight as you can see here pretty sharp pictures The pictures come out pretty sharp and the device is running pretty well in like in stock ROM 5.1 lollipop still decently supported so that's all about Samsung's flagship S4 device. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.